the topic is evaluating integral with the modulus function now a very simple thing what we were having if suppose we are having modulus of x then to this what we are writing to this we are writing it is x if x is greater than equal to 0 and negative of f if x is less than 0 so now the question is how to integrate a modulus function okay so now <coughs> the idea to evaluate i am just writing it now the idea to evaluate means how to uh, evaluate the modulus function now what was the idea who gave the idea now the idea to evaluate integral involving a modulus function involving a modulus function is as such now how it is now let's discuss with a simple question or an example now let us consider a modulus function integration of a to c modulus of fx dx now suppose this is a question now once again the idea to evaluate integral involving a modulus function is as such now how it is now let us discuss this now suppose we are having a question integration of a modulus function and the limits are from a to c now what we are going to do it now the most important thing we must first know we must first know what range what range of value of x for which fx is negative for which fx is negative this is the most important thing now this is a theoretical part after all when we are going with some examples then you will love to do the questions of the modulus type now we must first know what range of value of x for which fx is negative now let us assume let us assume now what should we assume let us assume it to be fx let us assume it to be fx is less than is equal to 0 for a is less than is equal to b is less than is equal to c where b is less than c ok so we got some value we got some value a limit in between a to c and that that is b ok so that is why let us assume that b is a value for which f x is less than is equal to 0 ok and always b is less than c it means b is more than a ok so now what we are going to do then with the question now what we are going to do then then v section section means two parts ok then we section the integral <coughs> we section the integral into two parts with additional or addition negative sign to the integral negative sign to the integral part 
for which f x is less than is equal to 0 and and we will integrate without modulus signs without modulus sign. Now, look what I am going to do it. Now, the question was a to c f x d x and f x was in the modulus function and b was one of the limit which was more than a and less than c and which makes f x is less than is equal to 0. So, it will be written as a to b with negative sign f x d x plus b to c with f x d x. Is it clear? This is the main thing which we have just give, uh, gone through the theoretical part and now I am going to give you a very nice examples. <coughs> 